Hey folks, welcome to another What's in the Box. My name is Jesse, and today we are looking at Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. I'm very excited to play this game. I hope we keep this spoiler free. In fact, what you're seeing will be spoiler free. I can't guarantee the same for myself, but I will edit out parts that are spoilery, at least what I believe to be spoilery. Um, we are playing this on twitch.tv slash hardboard games at the beginning of June 2021. This is going to go up before that. So I hope you join us. We're going to be going through all of it at the table with uh, Ronald, Travis, myself, and Melissa, the original crew that I went with for seasons one and two. So let's take a look at what's in this box. There's a lot of stuff here. It's heavy. Um, so, I already told you about twitch.tv slash games. Let me tell you more about it. I am playing this with my original crew who used to live next to me. Since then, uh, one moved one moved about 1,000 miles away. The other moved about 3,000 miles away. I don't know what the actual mileage are, but very far. And we're all meeting up in the middle of the country to play this game. And to hang out, because it's been a long time. They moved away soon after we finished Pandemic Season 2. But it made sense for us to come back together to finish the trilogy, Pandemic Season 0. So, I know Pandemic Season 1 was uh, prone to knockoffs. I hope this isn't. If you notice anything that's common with the knockoff copies, please comment about it and let me know. But here we go. It feels so chunky. It feels so full. I hope it's legit. So immediately we don't have the white. That was one of the things I think was a was the knockoff copy had this cardboard look and the real one had a white. I don't know if it was that game or some other one, but now I'm just really... I'm on, I'm on edge. Okay, here we go. Hello, Agent. Thank you for acquiring Pandemic Legacy Season Zero. We hope you have as much fun playing it as we've had making it. The necessary intel for this mission is as follows. Dossiers and packages. Do not open any doors on the dossiers or any of the safe deposit boxes, numbered boxes in the game box, until instructed to do so. Debrief book. There are two books, the rule book and a debrief book. Read the rulebook to learn the rules of the game, but do not read anything from the debrief book except as instructed. So do not open the debrief book. We won't be doing that here. When reading the debrief book, read only the entry you are instructed to read. The legacy decks come in two parts, part one and part two. Begin with part one and do not open part two until you have completed part one. Be sure both parts from the beginning of the deck be sure to open both parts from the beginning of the deck, not the end. Read and reveal the cards in numerical order and only when instructed to do so. Thank you again and good luck. This will be a year long remembered by those with proper clearance. You have been called upon to save humanity. You must be up to the task. Okay, so things we're not looking at <laughs> mentioned in that. This dossier must not go outside the Strategic Services Office. Okay, so these are large dossiers. We're just going to set those aside. We have the rule book. We are allowed to look through that. We are not allowed to read this. We have lots of stickers. We have lots of disguises. Cool, we're going to be looking different. We have more stickers here. And I'm guessing all this is, seems public. I'm not going to zoom in on any of it. Kind of just gives you an idea uh, if you are planning to play this anyway. Here's our list of actions. Uh, we can look at this because I think it's important to see the difference between this and the usual pandemic. So we have a uh, drive and ferry, commercial flight. Let's turn this down a little more. So, commercial flight, unrecorded flight, neutralize agent, removing agents from the city, 
share Intel. You can pause this, by the way, if you want to read any of that uh, specifically. I think I went over all of these, like showing you. All right, we also have some tokens here. This was around this. We can put this back around this. And we could put it around there if we wanted to go. There we go. Tokens there. It says top secret intelligence and top secret personnel. I'm not opening any plastic here. There's a lot of it. Like this. I got to leave it in there, but we can still see how cool this is. That gold foil. That's awesome. Can we get a close up of that? Sure. That gold foil. That's awesome. Very nice. Then we have the deck with the gold foil. Well, not gold foil, but the same logo. Oh, and this is the other side. None of this is getting open, by the way. So sorry if you came here to look at everything right up close. This is just kind of a kind of a wet your whistle, wet your beat type of situation. So feel free to pause it if you want to read that up close, but that's the only card we're seeing. Uh, we have all of this stuff. And there it looks like we have some agents. And we have some buildings and some standard pegs there. I mean, this is as close as we're getting, but that's pretty good. You get to see quite a bit. I feel like there's going to be some espionage, an espionage type of situation. Let's cut back to the overhead. We got a lot to show here. The boxes are here. Now, for anyone who's been here before, you know, you know we like to look underneath. Do we look underneath here? By the way, this is in plastic, meaning I'm not going to open it. So this is all the spoiler you get. I just, it's in plastic and I want to know why, but I'm not going to open it because it's a legacy game. This is something I want to see with everyone else when I play it. We can also look at the outsides of these. We got part one. This is the legacy deck. Read rules. Warning in the part one. This is the bottom of the operations deck. Turn this deck over. Okay, I can show you that. Operations deck, when instructed, receive cards, stop, and end of deck. So, lots of cards that come in it. Here's the thing. This is like elevated a bit. Like, you could see where they could hide something here. Whew, but they didn't. Okay. I've gotten some... Uh, well, I'll just say it. There is something under the box. If you've played legacy games before, that can't surprise you much, right? There's only so many places you can hide things. A game that's done it really well as far as hiding things in a box, Box One, uh, it's a Neil Patrick Harris game, a game you play with one person. Check out that if you want to find some clever ways to hide things. But for this, ooh, box five has some tears on it. We're going to be playing this at twitch.tv slash hardboard games. I think that's all I'm going to show for now. Because, I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't want to show too much, you know? So let's all look at it completely together over at twitch.tv slash hardboard games. It'll be such a fun time. Looking forward to it greatly. That'll be in a month beginning of July, and it'll also go live here on, not live, it'll be posted here later on the YouTube page. This goes down here, doesn't it? Nope, it doesn't. Where's it go? Here? Yeah, here. So, make sure you're following over on twitch.tv slash hardboardgames. Make sure you subscribe here on YouTube. Thank you for your subscribe. We really appreciate it. it keeps us going, it keeps us fired up to do more things like unboxing this and all the original content we do here on YouTube. So with that in mind, until next time, the box is closed. Bye, everybody.